today we will see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to simple interest misconception 1 what will be the simple interest for 10 years on rupees 1000 at the annual rate of 10% the annual rate is 10% this means the annual interest on rupees 100 is rupees 10 then the annual interest on rupees 1000 is equal to 1000 into 10 by 100 which is equal to rupees 100 here students calculate interest for only one year they forget to calculate the interest for 10 years as a result they get an incorrect answer that is option 1 to find the correct answer we have to multiply interest for one year with total time to get total simple interest then simple interest for one year is rupees 100 then interest for 10 years is equal to 100 into 10 that is rupees 1000 if we solve this example using formula then these mistakes can be avoided formula for simple interest is i is equal to prt by 100 here i is equal to simple interest p principal r annual rate of interest and t time therefore i is equal to 1000 into 10 into 10 by 100 which is equal to 1000 Thus, option two is the correct answer. Misconception two: Ravi lends rupees three thousand five hundred to Prakash at twenty percent annual rate for two years. Find the amount Prakash has to pay Ravi after two years. Here, simple interest is I is equal to P R T by hundred, which is equal to three thousand five hundred into twenty into two divided by hundred. which is equal to rupees 1400 sometimes students do not focus on what is asked in the question they just find simple interest and give incorrect answers and choose option 1 here we have to find the total amount prakash has to pay ravi to calculate this we have to find the sum of principal and interest to be returned to ravi since principal plus interest is equal to amount we have to find amount in this example amount is equal to principal plus interest which is equal to 3500 plus 1400 which is equal to rupees 4900 therefore the correct answer is prakash will pay rupees 4900 to ravi after 2 years thus the correct answer is option 2 misconception 3 Rekha's father deposited rupees 25000 on simple interest in a bank if the rate of interest is 11.5% per annum then how much interest will be deposited after 15 years we will solve this example by using formula of simple interest here simple interest is equal to i is equal to prt by 100 which is equal to 25000 into 11.5 into 15 divided by 100 which is equal to rupees 43125 here simple interest is more than principal usually students misunderstand that interest can never be more than the principal therefore they try to subtract principal from simple interest and get 18125 which is incorrect Since the rate of interest and time are more in this situation interest can be more than the principal hence option 2 is the correct answer along with these misconceptions students commit a common mistake while calculating simple interest students either forget to convert time given in months into years or ignore it this leads to incorrect simple interest for example if p is equal to rupees 5000 t is equal to 24 months and r is equal to 10% rate per year then they do not convert time given in months to years this results in an incorrect simple interest since interest is represented per year it is necessary to convert the given time into years here we will convert 24 months into 2 years by dividing it by 12 This will result in giving us rupees thousand as the simple interest, which is correct. Therefore, while calculating simple interest, do not forget to convert time given in months into years. Today, we have seen misconceptions and common mistakes related to simple interest. Yeah.